welcome to Earth Plays Champions of Kren. When last we left off, we had just failed to retrieve the dragon lance which Mirtani had flown away with, leaving us to fight three black dragons. And now our goal is to get out of Gargath and report our failure to Sir Carl Gardson. attacked by looks like elven clerics. Yes, two elvish curates with ghouls and zombies. actually a problem, as it turned out. And Capac Draconians. You can tell Capac rather than Bars because they're licking their swords. Three Capac and four Bars Draconians. <coughs> Who Lisa can talk to. stepping into acid if I can avoid it, so. Gonna need to get some things identified back at the outpost.
Okay. Let's throw here. Secret door to the east. Yes, I wish to leave. And this takes us right outside Gargath, and we can now head back to the outpost. Sir Dargard's tomb, okay. Journal entry 18 is... Tale of Sir Dargard. In the past, a faithful knight of the Rose named Sir Dargard gained an item which gave him great fighting prowess. He was a scourge of the evil armies until his entire company was poisoned at a feast. The company was buried along with Sir Dargard's great device in lands later overrun by evil. The evil ones sought to wrest the artifact from the tomb, but were slain by the spirits of Sir Dargard and his company. Our scouts now say that Draconians have attempted to penetrate the tomb again, perhaps with sufficient strength to succeed. It is time for a truly noble knight to go and ask that the artifact be passed on to guard the forces of good today. On a side note, you will be happy to know that Karamon has contacted our elite units in Salamnia. The Council of Knights themselves will lead them into the coming battles. I will be certain to mention your impressive record to them when they arrive. And there's a map which shows that the tomb is northwest of the outpost we are in right now. Which she also says. So, first training hall. Everyone levels. Let's see if anyone lost XP. Lisa did not. Lauren did not. Eryx did not. Desia did, it looks like. Oops. Orth did not. Saristan did not. But Saristan wants to become a knight of the Rose, the highest Salamnic order, so that she can cast spells, for one thing. to the armory, pull all money, that's just a non-magical longsword, that is magical somehow, gauntlets of ogre power, nice, and magic plate mail too, oh yes. Dacia will be using the Gauntlets of Ogre Power, which will set her strength to 18-100. Nope, just a non-magic longsword. That's a cursed two-handed sword, so yes, all that. That's a magic longsword. Plus four versus reptiles. Okay. Should certainly be useful against draconians. Magic Hoopak, oh yes. That is good. And if 
every one we have was armor, and we're not going to have any single class wizards at any point, so we might as well solve these braces. Which will not do anything for anyone we have with us. He wants a sil flower from a silver rose bush in Jetlock. And we reported our sort of success in Gargath. Protect Sir Dargard's tomb and see the Jetlock is safe. Okay, let's see what they have to say in the bar. Tavern Tail 11. It's good to see that Jellic is holding against the tide of evil. Tavern Tale 7. Here's a drink to all the knights buried in Jellic's graveyard. May they rest in peace forever. Well, that sure sounds ominous. Tavern Tale 35. Annoying guides they give you angelic, but I suppose they can't be too careful. Tavern Tale 24. Scouts are starting to report evil fortunes on the march everywhere. Okay, now... The end. All the rumors are about... Jellic in the tavern. Does that mean something about where we should go? I am not sure. Can't learn anything new from her scrolls. Nor can Erex from his, or presumably Dacia from hers. Okay, now I have a decision to make, specifically, whether we're going to Jellic or Sir Dargard's tomb first. And I think the answer is Jellic. This is Gargath. This is Jellic. Well, this seems friendly. Journal entry 47 is... We've had a lot of unsavory characters passing through town lately. The good armies have left us in the lurch, and we are forced to take the law into our own hands in order to protect the citizens of this town. Here's the official proclamation. All persons entering Jellic that are unknown to the guards shall be assigned an escort for the duration of their stay in the city. They will be restricted to the public parts of the town. The burial grounds are strictly forbidden to all strangers. It's signed by our leader, Sir Lebam. So, here's a nice young man who will show you around the town. Skyla, come over here. He introduces you to a man who looks you over and breaks into a goofy grin. His entire aspect seems dignified enough, until he smiles or begins to talk, then his ancestry is extremely questionable, and you wonder if maybe he hadn't suffered a fall on his head as a child. Well, okay then. Uh, 
This is Skyla. He does not look harmless. The more relevant parts is Journal Entry 76, which says dot 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 friend has many objects of value for sale dot 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 great frog collection four exclamation points dot 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 so dot 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 sword that seems to be magical at least undead creatures are afraid of it dot 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 many potions for sale dot 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 information about the incidents of undead and draconian incursions in the area dot 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 a beautiful daughter dot 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 uh, yeah, this guy is not credible at all. There is presumably a map in Journal Entry 45. Yep, there's a map in Journal Entry 45, and what immediately jumps out at me is the Burial Glen, which doesn't seem to have an entrance, comprises nearly half the town. So there's a tavern, a weapon shop, a magic shop, and X. And of course, the burial glen. The red dagger in, which isn't marked on the map, but pretty sure I know where we are. The tavern's going to be on the left ahead of us, and the weapon shop on the right. Yep. Tavern Tale 4. Hey, Jerklack, what in blazes were you doing up in the slum area? You rubbing shoulders with the local scum? Heaven till 21. So I was saying, why we gotta do all this stuff? Why don't we just go down there and take the thing? And you know what? That's exactly what we did. That lance is ours. Of course, my officer took all the credit for himself. Credit. He couldn't hold the dull end of a sword if he didn't have us to teach him. Okay. I am pretty sure there isn't the dragon lance in Jellic. I tell you, that grave was breathing. The dirt was rising up and down just like it was taken in air. I lit out of there as fast as these stumpy legs could carry me. Breathing grave. The undead don't breathe, so that's pretty puzzling, actually. I hear that they're gonna be hiring mercenaries down in Sanction. I say we get out of this hick town and go down to where the real action is. And more. Now listen here. Your red dragon is by far the best at nose-to-nose, claw-to-claw fighting. But for breathing, give me a green any day. This is probably just someone talking nonsense like the part about the lands, but it is still off-putting to have someone here talking about using red and green dragons in battle. Tavern Tale 4 is the first one we heard. See if they'll cycle after that. Tavern Tale 21 is the second one we heard about the land. So yes, they appear to be done, and we can leave. Luckily, none of us get drunk no matter how long we spend drinking. Chaotic Neutral, self the Elf, Fighter, Mage, is that? He has banded mail, a shield, and a broadsword. Not nothing about a rogue color, so apparently he's a rogue mage. Anything at the armory? This is marginally better than the armory we started with. It has chain mail instead of just ring mail, but still now nothing we actually want to buy. Okay. 
shadowy figure and there's that magic shop. Hmm, question is, are these vastly more expensive things different from or the same as that wandering merchant? I suspect they're the same, so no, I won't be spending money here. And what's this? Is it on the map? It is not. The map does not indicate anything about a door here, just an alcove. The only doors marked are to the inn, to the shops, and, of course, to his friend's place. So, Skylet left, and we were immediately attacked. Well, that sounds... not suspicious at all. Hmm. This is the location of his friend's place. However, I don't particularly think I want to go there. Copy protection. Adventurer. No, wait. Word six on page A, not word eight. So, four. Civilization provides many valuable services for the adventurer. So yes, right before we go into the burial glen, let's cast some spells. Undead. Shocking, I'm sure. <laughs> and Skyla immediately rejoins us and says, wait. We can't be here. Well, do your worst, Skylar. You've already been doing your worst. You are escort turns and smiles. And, yeah, of course he works for Mertene. Shouldn't count your corpses before we're dead, Skylar. Elvish curate, elvish rogue, which means rogue wizard, not thief. And yeah, none of the spellcasters are vulnerable to charm or sleep. That is potentially important. Yeah, I don't think I'm close enough to try a stinking cloud on any of the casters, so... Instead, I will endeavor to paralyze as many as possible. And my cellia has joined on our side. Good, got three of them. Unfortunately, death here cannot reach that one. So I am reduced to trying to paralyze fighters.
is resisting being paralyzed. Got them finally. Some spells. Let's make this fight easy. You really should not have counted your corpses before making sure we were dead, Skylar. Of course, if you had stuck around, you would likely be dying now too. but some spell slots used. And it doesn't look like they had any gear they weren't using. Senlia says journal entry 59. Listen, I've been following you for some time now. That Skylar character is the leader of a faction of guards that has taken over the city. He looks stupid, but don't let that fool you. He knows exactly what he looks like, and he knows how to use it to his advantage. He takes his orders from Sir Lebom. Lebom took over about a week ago. It was slow and insidious how he did it. No word got out at all, and, initially, there was lots of business for our shops. Everyone was happy, except now that now he's cut off all contact with the outside. Anyone that comes in here either joins the guards or is killed, as you almost were. There's another disturbing thing. I've done some digging around, and nobody has ever seen this Sir Lebom character. Most people have never even heard of him. There was a knight of Salamnia of that name that was corrupted many, many years ago, but legend has it that he died horribly, they say. I'd like to get into the graveyard and examine his office. Are you willing to go with me? Well, of course. Safe place to rest the northeast, but we do not really need to rest yet anyway. So, let's see now. We want to examine Sir Lebom's office. Sir Lebom is, of course, most certainly not a death knight, I'm sure. And they're undead attacking us. Once again, a case of we have too many clerics for this threat. Ah, I gained control of my cellia in that, insofar as you can call it a fight, fight. More undead. Still turnable. Mm -hmm. Still have control of my cell layer. Which is surprising as she is an NPC. Ah, the town's roughnecks. Probably can't turn those. Another elvish curate and elvish rogue. Can't turn those, but can hopefully paralyze them. Spellcaster's down, nice. Oh, I didn't look at my cellia. This is my cellia. Human 
sixth level thief. Yeah, she's going to be using her bow in battle. Preserving hold person spells rather than using them on the fighters too is a decision I will regret, but depends on how many fights there are with humanoids before we leave. That looks like Sir LaBomb's office. So before I approach it, I'm going to save and I'm going to heal some people. possibly cast spells too. Doesn't look like I have another prayer, but I do have another bless. Ah, a silver rose bush. And then we get attacked by black dragons. magic missile, but that wouldn't do as much damage as a hit with the sword, so going to try the sword. And miss. And that one is choking and gagging now too, so yeah, they do not get off any of the breaths, which is very good. Six gems. This, the 
does not look like Sir Lebum's office after all, does it? Or... If it is, the implications of that are certainly unfortunate. This is Sir LeBam's office. Ah, Lauren can now destroy zombies with her turn undead. The rest of us, not worshipping Majir, still can't. Not surprising. But we got some XP from that. And not just from the loot, although the bulk of it was probably from the loot, which, woo, this looks like magic. All of it. So, okay. This was probably not Sir Lebam's office. More undead, which we will turn. So, of course, the two of us who can't turn undead are the ones who act first. Nice, very nice. Yeah, not a lot of XP for that, just some. So, need to find Sir LeBum's mysterious office. Which might be here. It is an office. The room is incredibly cold. Like, you know, you would expect from the office of Not a Death Knight. Mirtani is gathering his forces in secret areas around Sanction. We won't be ready for a few weeks yet. My minions have started gathering materials for my use. Several graveyards have been looted already. Many of them have left the open grave sites unfilled. I suppose it can't be helped. Stupidity has always been our most dangerous enemy. Mirtani has found a dragon lands. I urged him to give it to his strongest warrior, but I'm afraid that the Draconian doesn't trust anyone who could hold that much power. Foolish. He's going to hide it away somewhere in Sanction. Why wouldn't Mertani use it himself, then? Well, I would guess because he's a spellcaster. Being an Arak Draconian, so yeah. And materials for my use means corpses. Again, not surprising because Death Knight. Searching just cause the town's roughnecks to spot me, which, um, the town's roughnecks wander into Sir Lebom's office regularly. That has interesting implications. Spellcasters are paralyzed. And most of the non spellcasters, too. So no, we did not find anything in 
Sell the bomb's office, and now it's... Let's see what's in here, actually. Ah, he'll tell me about the graveyard which we've just been in. I've been kept out of the burial grounds now for a week. I can't even get in there to get my tools. There are strange things going on in there. Open graves, broken tombstones, strange noises. Even the animals are gone. That Sir Lebarm is ruining the town. He even made his office in the burial glen. He even made his office in the burial glen. I already said that one. Oops. It's in the building just to the south and west of here, but the door is through the graveyard. That's another strange thing. Nobody's ever seen our new leader, at least nobody that I know of. He gives his orders and the guards carry them out. Things just ain't right. Yes, I got that. Now, time to leave Jellic. Not by the front door, I think. Still more roughnecks, so to speak, wandering around the Forbidden Graveyard. This time with just two elvish carrots and no ropes. Lisa will taunt the fighters when she gets a chance. My Celia will continue shooting the paralyzed spots. Result. Moved away, didn't mean to, got it. surrender. We can't interrogate them, but we can loot them. And from here, we can leave town. And my Celia leaves. Oh, if that was less than clear, you have six character slots you can fill with characters you create. You have a total of eight character slots. The other two can be filled with NPCs of various types. Hirelings, if the game you're playing has that, which I believe of the Gold Box games only Pool of Radiance does. Or characters who join you temporarily, always temporarily, as part of the plot. Ah, okay. A message they intercepted. Message from Assassins. The paper reads, 
We have contacted a traitor at the Renegade Ogre's base. We can slip in unobserved and slay the Renegade leaders. If we are not successful, beware. Our spy tells us that the Renegades might try to ally with the forces of good. Their knowledge of Kernan makes them dangerous. A rough map is drawn on the back. Sir Carol then speaks. The Salemnic cavalry is already on the march. It will not be too long until these first units have arrived in the area. We must have information on the enemy's strengths and weaknesses soon. The Salamnic force will be strong, and an ambush could cause them problems. And the map shows that the ogre base is northeast of this outpost. Which, again, Sir Carl highlights. So we told Sir Carl about Jalak and gave him the Silver Rose. Investigate the ogre base and protect Sir Dargard's tomb. Well, first, we'll train. It does not look like Desia actually lost experience points when she last trained after all. That is good. And Eryx now has a third level spell. He'll choose Firebolt to learn. Widely varying experience point totals because some characters have more classes than others. Do we have anything to sell or identify now? Ah, yes. Chainmail, which Eryx was dragging around for no good reason. Possibly thinking it might be magical, but it wasn't, or it wouldn't have sold for just 15 steel pieces. Scroll of protection from dragon breath, that could certainly be useful here, except I believe... Actually, I'm not sure if it protects one of us or more than one of us. Periactive proof against poison, nice. Well, that needs to go to a wizard to be usable. And this should go to a frontliner, so I'll put it, give it to Saraston. And that Lisa can just hold on to for now. She is wearing the periapt somewhere. A periapt is an item of jewelry. Was there another wand we'd found? I thought there was. Ah yes, Wand of Ice Storm, which there is no point in Lisa holding on to, as I don't believe she can use it, so... Laren can hold on to it, she's a wizard. And yeah, it is likely we will not find a lot of use for... this money, but we will relax at the bar and listen to some more tavern tales. Strange how those folks in Jellic fooled us so well. Evil has always been skilled at duplicity. We've been finding lots of emptied graves. Someone is collecting bodies. These relate to what we just did, but they don't seem to have new information for us. Kernan can no longer be approached at all. Too many dragons in the air. So, Kernan apparently belongs to the Dragon Armies now. Until 15. Enemy scouts have been patrolling closer to the outposts. They'll be on the run when the good armies get here. Well, they seem to have a plan, so... I hope it's actually that simple. Okay, now to prepare 
their spells. So Esten is still not high enough level to prepare any spells. Though she is now a knight of the highest order. Derek can prepare a fireball, and actually wait, how many? Yes, I want to lose it. I want to see if those are bonus spells, and one of them was. Well then, magic missile, mirror image, hold person, because I absolutely do not want to use a bonus spell slot because the red moon is looks like either crescent or half waning waxing I mean either way point is I absolutely do not want to use a wild card slot on a magic missile now that I can use it on a fireball and yes Eric can now prepare two fireballs nice oh and also scribe Haste and invisibility, ten foot radius. Laren still can't prepare third level spells yet, being a white mage rather than a red mage. So next time, we'll set out for Sadargard's term. But for right now, I'll wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching, and see you then.